collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always please remember to stay in the purest of white light i return to source i return to center all negative energy and intent immediately and permanently I call in only the purest of white light. Okay, anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. <laughs> anything, <laughs> any evil or negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled or dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. <coughs> Judgment is final. Okay, so we have an emperor here. This is possibly a boss. This is someone you work with with the Eight of Pentacles being out here. This is someone absolutely dark as heck. This is someone showing off as malicious. Uh, someone knows that you're committed to your, your work, your skill. Someone may be skilled at being an occultist, doing dark things. Someone's refusing to heal. Someone's refusing to let go. <clears throat> Someone may have a problem, yeah, uh-huh. Someone may have a problem with either you, who you are, whatever. But it's not really that this person has a problem with you. Someone is dealing with inner problems. Like they have problems with themselves that they are unwilling to face, to deal with. Someone does not want to confront the demons that they're dealing with. So instead, they are projecting onto someone else, trying to cause you an ending and things like that. But someone is absolutely toxic. This is an occultist. Um, this is someone that's trying to trap you with them. I think this man showed up in my reading yesterday, so it's very imperative, I guess, for this message to come out. But be aware that this man is not someone to be around, okay? This person is trying to find a way how to end you. Actually, this is something someone is planning. I'm telling you, someone is upset that you don't see them as a choice and you're not confused about them. This man's know you know him. Like, you know someone at the back of your hand and you've never had, like, any type of personal relationship with them. Like, just from seeing them, you know they're dealing with demons. Someone refuses to heal and face the, face the things that they need to. Someone is like, mm-mm, I know I need to heal, but I don't want to. I don't want to do all of that work, okay? So because this person is not willing to do all of that work, they're not your type. They know you're not a choice for them, Okay, they are not a choice for you. You see them for who they are, right? Someone is trying to trap you with them and because they know that that's the only way they can even be in your energy is by them forcing their way into your life. Yesterday when I did that reading, it was basically this man trying to confine you so you would need him because someone thinks that they're a God. I think someone is dealing with some type of inner child that is not you right so the instead of taking time to heal and fix the things that are broken he is instead taking it out on another energy that is innocent so this man is working with an occultist behind the scenes to cause you an ending he's working with an occultist behind the scenes to cause you an ending this is a, this is an occultist that should not even be in your energy what they don't realize is that they're both they both have legal issues coming in this occultist is married and this couple is going through an ending. They are going through an ending. These two are about to be exposed in the worst way possible. The worst way possible. While they're planning your downfall, they don't realize their theirs is right around the corner. Yes, exactly. You know the truth. They know the truth. Everybody knows the truth. There's clarity in this situation for why these people have been pairing up to cause you an ending, right? Someone may even have some type of uh, uh, unhealthy desires for you. Like someone lusts after you a lot is this, uh, this uh, man. This occultist may as well. He may have some type of desire for you, but he knows you're not into all of that. Someone could go both ways as well. There's something I'm hearing about that is that this person, the, the husband in here goes both ways. This could be like a bearded relationship or something of that nature. Um, so he may have some type of weird, complicated emotions for you. Someone is obsessed, like obsessed. Like this person lives, breathes, thinks, eat everything. It's about you. This person probably doesn't even get any sleep. 
Like they don't want to miss anything about you. Someone is literally obsessed with another person and it's so eerie when things like this are going on. People in the background may not know how obsessed this occultist is with you, but everything is going to be exposed. Everything will be revealed. They can't cause illusions anymore. There's something they were trying to cause illusions about someone of high honor, a privileged lady, someone of mature character, high standards. They can't cause conflict about that anymore. People are seeing the truth. This is like a group of men and a couple coming together to say that, hey, hey, uh, support me and say that this person is mentally unstable, mentally ill, okay? I'll pay you. They're, they're maybe paying people behind the scenes with the Eight of Pentacles being out here. Like they're promising security to these people, financial securities and things like that to these people behind the scenes. And they said, hey, yeah, uh, 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 support me and let us say that she has mental illness. She's unstable, right? She doesn't qualify to have something. Or, uh, you know, she just, she needs to be in a psych ward or some, something like that. There's something malicious they're planning in order to end someone. Um, it, they could also not want two people to come together because when these two people come together, this occultist is going to be uh, experiencing some type of ending. He may have some type of weird affection or interest in a male that he's been friends with for a long time, but the man may not be into him. I don't know. It's something like that. It's that you like, let's say you go both ways and you have a male friend that does not go both ways. Um, he's straight, but you like him and you don't want to see him with the feminine energy. So you do things behind the scenes to interfere with their union. You want, you don't want them coming together. Or even if the friend that you like, maybe you two had something before, but he decides he doesn't want to do that anymore, which people have the right to do. I know, I know, I know, black folks. I know in the comment section, I know, okay? But they said they decide that they don't want to do that anymore. They want to just be with women now. They are delivered. Hallelujah. They are delivered, okay? This man is upset about that. He does not want someone to be delivered, okay he does not want someone to be delivered okay um so he's making it absolutely complicated for two people to come together but really what i'm getting is that this man like it's that he likes both the feminine and the energy and the masculine energy but neither of them are interested in him so it's it's eating at his ego his self-esteem also, this person has some type of personal vendetta against the feminine energy and he wants to take her out. Either he's trying to steal something from her or he's just trying to solidify the fact that he has said she's mentally unstable. She's she's uh, uh, um, mentally ill, right? Because you've paid all these people behind the scenes to support you, family, friends, enemies, strangers, to support you. Um, and only for people to find out that whoever you're saying is illiterate or incompetent or mentally ill it's not they may even be smarter than you so you have to kind of deal with that reality and it's embarrassing for him this is an embarrassment that he's trying to avoid someone has bigger fish to fry than you but they're focusing on you because it's an ego thing both of these people are dealing with egos right they're working together extremely hard and diligent to come up with a plan on how to end a partnership, block a partnership, uh, end a feminine energy, block some type of love opportunity, but there's clarity. They're exposed. People see what they're trying to do. Oh, this is what's coming up. Yeah, they're exposed. People know the truth. People absolutely know the truth. They know the truth. It's like you know the truth the whole time, but you don't want to face the truth because it's too much to bear. It's easier for you to pretend like you don't know the truth. You don't understand. You can't comprehend the truth that the truth is not there. It's like seeing an elephant and pretending like you don't see the elephant. How? How? Okay. How does that work? I don't know how that works. But this emperor also has made it like his... I don't know what's wrong with this man, but he has something where he has made it his like mission as well to destroy you. Like he's trying to block all avenues for you. Um, this could be someone as well that maybe you are genuine with. You have some type of genuine connection with, okay? There could be two emperors in here. You have a contract with one emperor that is healthy. And then you have uh, another emperor that is just karmic. 
that just wants to destroy you, block you because he knows you're not interested in him. Someone is like a wounded child and they don't want to heal that aspect of themselves. So they are hiding it. It's crazy because I said wounded child. And the Six of Cups has to do with you bringing that inner child out, right? Embracing that inner child, healing that inner child. But this person does not want to. The emperor that you, <clears throat> that you are supposed to be connecting with does want to go through that healing process may even be going through that healing process right now okay but whoever this crazy one is that's working with this occultist you may want to be mindful be mindful be mindful someone thought they were going to come in and cause all kinds of illusions to you make you make you think that oh you know he's He's here to help me that if you are going through endings, you're going to reach out to them to ask them for help. And <clears throat> they've been waiting for that phone call. And they're going to be waiting for that phone call till the day they either die or the day they get locked up. Someone is going to jail. Someone is going to be exposed horribly. Okay. That this occultist, this, this couple here, they are living in fear. They're living in fear because you're standing up for yourself. You're defending yourself. Something is not adding up. People are seeing the truth for what it is. They say, oh, so this is why you've been going after this feminine energy. This is why you've been trying to destroy them. You're intimidated by them. Your ego was bruised, right? This person has gone around telling people, oh, that's a star seed. If you step in their energy, it can bless you. Can you... <laughs> Please make it make sense. If someone is a light worker and you go and you're bullying them how does that lead the blessings for you make it make sense how does that lead the blessings for you so what he's doing is telling people oh if you just act nice to them and you treat them nicely it's going to lead to blessings for you there's one thing the universe hates is false kindness kindness that is not being done from the heart space Kindness that's done with ulterior motives. That's one of the worst things you can do in life. Per the universe standards. Faking your kindness that you're giving something to someone and you don't want to do it wholeheartedly. You have ulterior motives. You're expecting something back in return. That's not something you should be doing. Okay? So what this occultist is doing is going around telling people, hey, if you're nice to them, don't let them, don't anger them or anything. Just be nice to them. It'll be rewarding. It's not rewarding. Anything you're getting from being, from being dishonest with this person is a curse. And the curse may not be taking place immediately, but source is going to let you get comfortable with whatever blessings you've, you've received. And they'll let you get comfortable where you keep going and say, oh, well, I've gotten away with it. And you get to a point where you've forgotten what you did to that person. And then they say, oh, hello, hi, we're, we're ready to collect. And you're not ready. Now your life is upside down. You're losing everything, losing the business, losing the job, losing a family member, losing a wife, losing a partner, losing a car, losing a child, getting sick, no one there to take care of you, alone. Like literally everything you are manifesting for someone else is going to be happening to, happening to you. But this, this emperor here, the one that's working with this toxic couple behind the scenes and a group of other men, they're all going to be going through some type of ending. They're going to be embarrassed as well. People have legal issues coming in. Absolutely. Okay. Someone is seeing you. Where is this? Let's talk about the, the emperor in the upright. There's an emperor that's seeing you in your truth. Like he knows. He has clarity about you. Like something has been revealed to this man. That he knows exactly what's going on. Someone is trying to still tell him, hey, you're confused. You're not. Yeah, they're still trying to cause confusions, illusions, and things like that. Like, hey. No, this person is not competent. This person is illiterate. This person is dumb. This person is mentally unstable. This person is emotionally imbalanced. But what they're not telling this man is that they're doing things behind the scenes to interfere with someone's life. They're trying to block someone's forward movement, have someone living in anxiety. You're not living in anxiety, Queen of uh, Wands. You're not in anxiety. You're protecting yourself from these people. You're securing yourself or the universe is telling you that you are secure, right? Just be vigilant with what you are doing, how you're moving and things like that. You may be receiving some type of abundance and they're telling you that your abundance is secure. When you receive it, secure it as well. Do not share with people. These people are trying to end any chances of you having wish fulfillment. They don't want you being happy, basically. These are bitter people. 
all of these people, especially this occultist male and this emperor that's working with him behind the scenes, they're dealing with something that happened to them in childhood. I'm not going to get into it, um, but they're dealing, like they're not dealing with it as far as the heal. They are holding on to these things, these burdens, these wounds, right? They don't want to let it go. Something horrendous happened to these two men when they were younger and they never healed from it. Um, they, they feel like they don't, if they let go of trying to have control of everything in their life, they're going to lose their identity. Someone is going to take advantage of them. They're not going to have their power. So they believe having power means having control over every little thing in their life and everyone else. Even if you haven't done anything to this person, there's the toxic emperor. He has a thing for collecting beautiful things. So he sees you as beautiful. He wants to have you. You don't want to have him. You don't see him as an option. Never will because he's extremely toxic as heck. So because he feels that he's been rejected, right? You, he thinks you think that you're better than him or something, which is not true. He's trying to cause you an end and make you feel uneasy. These are things that they're trying to do from behind the scenes. You know people are cowards when they have to do things from behind the scenes and can never face you. Someone here, this occultist, he knows that he should not be messing with you. Someone may have been warned to stop doing something, but he didn't listen. And now he's about to go through some type of ending that is absolutely inevitable. Like, he, can't st he cannot stop it at this point. You know that when a train starts going... And the next stop for the train is not until maybe another hour or something. Um, and if you miss that train, then, well, it's just gone, right? You can chase that train all you want. It's not going to stop because it's not scheduled to stop, right? So that train is just going to keep going. He's missed the train, the train to stop or the stop sign, wherever that train has stopped at. And they told him, hey, this is where you get off. Yeah, he didn't get off. He's still on that. He's still going just... Just to go in, just to go in, not realizing that he's sinking himself. Just to go in, okay. Just to go in. Someone is uh angry that the emperor that's in the upright sees you as someone that is of wish fulfillment. I'm telling you, if you receive something, keep it a keep it a, a, a beam, keep it discreet, be discreet about it, okay. Be discreet about it. People are trying to cause fear about this connection anyways but it's supposed to be something that is divinely guided it is going to be fulfilling when you and this person connect whenever you two are meant to connect okay people are absolutely determined to block this union from coming together initially you may have had like what 400 people that were trying to block this union people have been falling off little by little a lot of them have now it's just like the twiddle d's twiddle dumps and twiddle dd dumps that are still holding on it, the group is not as large as it was before, but this masculine that you, that you are supposed to connect with, he knows the truth about what's going on. Like, they cannot pull the wool over his eyes anymore, okay? So, this is something you possibly do not see coming in, right? Is that there is some type of union or collaboration, right? Something is being cleared up. Something is being seen for what it is. There's a whole group or family that's being seen for who they are. Something is absolutely being cleared up. So you don't really have anything to fear. This group may have something to fear, right? Because they have a lot of secrets, okay? They may have to walk away from whatever it is they've been doing, let go, find fulfillment in life. Again, the Eight of Cups has to do with healing, but most of these people are not trying to do that. They don't want to heal. They do not want to heal. It's too uncomfortable to heal. Yeah. There could be a law enforcement officer in here, a PI, something like that. Someone like that. And this person is gifted. This person is gifted. Uh, this could be someone that uses tarot as well or watches tarot just to kind of get an understanding of some of the things that are going on in this situation. Uh, people may not know that. They probably don't even realize that someone is a PI as well or some of these people don't know that there is a PI that's watching them and making notes and records of everything they're doing. These people are fighting amongst themselves, but there's absolutely a PI or some law enforcement officer or something like that, a law enforcement uh, energy or character in this situation that is doing his due diligence to bring balance into this situation. So everything these people have been doing, all Ill illegal activities, they are being recorded and they don't know that they are being recorded because someone has or a group of people have a lot of ego 
they see that it's one of you and how, 10 of them or whatever it is. And they're like, well, we're going to keep doing it. Someone thinks that if they keep going, they're eventually going to break you. It's not going to happen. You're a queen of wands. You are a battle queen, a queen of war. Okay, this is the queen of war. Okay, they move like in a way where you don't even know how to respond. These, these types of women or men, these types of people, these types of women, nah. So someone think, yeah, honey, they, when they move, when they make a move, it's going to cause chaos, not just for you, but your whole group, your whole troop. All of your soldiers will feel it. And all they do is just make one move and it's game over for everybody. Whereas you all think you're playing chess, this is the real master of chess. You are, I'm not going to say it. This is like you thinking you are the champion of chess, right? What this person will do is sit back and watch you. Watch you make all your moves. Watch you make all the slimy moves, right, in, in reality. But she's watching you like it's, it, like it's a chess game. She's letting you move, carry out all of your plans and everything. And every time you move, she makes a note of it. And by the time you get to here, she said, oh, okay, I got you down. But it's a quick process. Whereas you think you're being strategic, this woman is like studying you. But it doesn't take her long to study you. And she's just waiting for the right time to strike. When you sunk yourself in, like you were so sealed in something. You know how they use cement to seal things in? This is how this person will wait for you to seal yourself where there's no way out. Like you can't refute anything like if evidence is brought to you you can't say that wasn't me because she's going to make sure it has your name on there she's going to make sure it has the date maybe even have a picture of you while you are doing whatever you are doing that's how that's how this kind of person moves this emperor that's working with this nutcase this is a brute he's just vicious and he thinks he's clever this person is not clever or intelligent because emperors, first of all, they are in the upright. They don't do stupid stuff like this. That's little boy stuff. That's insecurity. Every time you take an action to go up against a feminine energy, it automatically says you're insecure and you're a little boy that still has some growing and maturing to do. Okay? He thinks he's smart. He's a joker. He's a joker. He takes himself a lot more serious than he really is. He's, he thinks more highly of himself than he really is. Some This is someone that operates from their lower energy that automatically makes you a joker because you will never see things from the perspective that they're supposed to be seeing. You'll never understand things on the level that it's supposed to be understood because everything you do, it has to do with ego. Your ego is consuming you. It's overshadowing everything you do. Why, as, why as a man are you so stern to destroy a feminine energy? Why is it that as a man, you are so stern to de destroy a feminine energy because they don't want you, they don't reciprocate your weird love? Or I don't even know what to call it. You can't call that love. Someone thinks that you and them are soul twins. You're not soul twins. You see this lover here is in the reverse. You're not soul twins. This is a karmic cycle. This is something you were meant to learn a lesson because this man is toxic. This is not something you're supposed to be partnering up with this man, honey. He's not your soul twin. But someone is delusional because they see you. To, they find you to be very beautiful. They know you are very business savvy, very intelligent and things like that. And because that bruises their ego, they may try to make you feel less than what you are. So they may tell a lot of lies. I wouldn't be surprised if this man said that he slept with you when he's never even seen your drawers, honey. This is how desperate this kind of energy is. It's like little boy stuff. You know that stuff little boys used to do when we were in middle, I mean, not middle school, high school. They'll tell their friends that they slept with you. And meanwhile, you don't even know who they are. All you've ever done is say hi to this person uh, in the hallway while you are passing each other. This is the energy this kind of man is in. The one that's working with this occultist. That's the kind of energy he's in. Very immature, insecure, a joke. A big joke just 
walking around thinking that he's he's macho like you know i'm the pillar of the community i do what's right well they say do you know we can see you sir we can see you you're a freaking joker we can see you someone thinks because they have money and they're secure mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's not so someone wants to be seen as being practical doing the right thing right and he's trapping himself someone is doing something as well because he's going through some type of financial ending he may have stolen money from you or tried to steal some money from you it's going to be exposed and he's going to be doing time for that because that's illegal that is absolutely illegal so, yeah i'm telling you someone has legal issues coming in these people have legal issues coming in i wouldn't be surprised if someone's door got busted down and other hands up you're under arrest. Someone does not expect what's coming for them. They are trying to block you, block everything for you, and they don't realize the universe has already decided that you are victorious. You are victorious. If I see my cards here in the reverse, I will put them upright because I didn't take the time to straighten them out uh, after I did my read last night. Okay. But yeah, this person is going through sorrows. He was trying to manifest sorrows for you, but that's what he's going through. Someone is burning behind the scenes. Your emperor that you're meant to be with as well could be going through some type of sorrows because people have made it absolutely difficult for this man and you to connect. This man could be going through some type of divorce as well, okay? There's something this man is doing. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's the right thing. Whoever you're meant to be with, he's doing the right thing. Like, I see it. And that's the thing about being a reader. We'll see things sometimes and we're not meant to say it because we know people are watching us that are misusing that information or they're watching us to get the information so they can know how to block certain things. I'm not saying what this man is doing, but sir, you are doing the right thing. You are doing the right thing, okay? You are doing the right thing. I'm not going to say it. But I'm not about to compromise your your um your safety and well-being. Yeah, how they're mad because this man sees you for who you are. He knows you're genuine. He remembers he had a genuine connection with you. It does not have to be love. Like from a, a, a intimate thing, like friendship. You had a genuine friendship with this person, this emperor that's in the upright that you're meant to be with. This man thinks very highly of you. Like he thinks very highly of you. He wants to share with you, live with you, grow with you, build a family, things like that. And they're upset about that. They're upset about that. That after everything they've done to tarnish your image, told him that you're retarded, you don't know what you're talking about, you're incompetent right think of it at, like i've dealt with something like this before where where a group of people got together and tried to kind of make me look and feel like less than what i was right um they would tell people oh you know don't do don't take anything she says too serious because she's retarded uh, like she's literally she's legally retarded or something and i'm and i knew what they were doing but i'm looking at now now, if I tell you about yourself, right, how you're selling yourself at work and sleeping with different men and women, right, how you're a prostitute and everything, how would that make you feel? Because I can hurt you with the truth, but you can't hurt me with a lie. You're entertaining me. Like, I know the truth about you. You don't know nothing about me. The fact that you're telling people I'm retarded because you're being paid behind the scenes to do it is really hysterical. Meanwhile, I know exactly what you do. I'm sitting across from you and sources revealing your secrets to me and I'm looking at you like, dang, but I'm not going to say anything. Like, I literally know what you do outside of here and in here. So what if I was like a loose mouth uh, high priestess and just decided to go and sh start spreading rumors about you? Like, hey, do you know she sleeps with people for money? It's like, what? What? Like, why don't people feel uncomfortable about doing things like that? Why don't you feel uncomfortable? Okay? So you're going through something like that. Okay? You're going through something like that. This man tried to steal something from you, steal some money from you. May have tried to get you fired. This occultist, this emperor tried to steal some money from you as well. They can't. They're not able to steal it from you. They're exposed. Okay? They are exposed. 
Absolutely. What does this say? The seven of swords in reverse. Get cut. Slender. Revelations. Need to be alert. Reparation. Deceive the self and others. I'm telling you. They've been lying. They've been lying. They didn't want this emperor you're supposed to connect with to see you as someone worth committing to. They said, oh, she's lazy, or she doesn't sleep all day, or she doesn't listen to music all day. So they had people come in and tell this man the same thing over and over, telling him lies and things like that. And he believed it because, you know, if you have so many people saying the same thing, what are you going to do? You're going to start believing it. But why this man never fixed his mouth to ask you the truth? I don't know. Don't ask me, honey. I'm just giving the message. Okay? But these people are exposed as liars this could be there could be a queen of wands in here yeah exposed anyways whatever is going on judgment has been called judgment has been called you will be moving on i'm telling you you're coming out of the cold and going into this energy you're coming out of the cold and going into this energy and your haters are upset about that they thought they had stolen from you successfully yeah, this is them. Unhappy. Unhappy. I remember I did a read where people were having some type of private meeting about a will to steal something from that belongs to someone else. It's something like that going on. They're trying to steal some type of new beginning from you, new, some type of abundant life that's going to lead to legacies, successful businesses, and things like that. Building a business empire. Like you have multiple businesses, but one under one corporation. This is what they're trying to block. They are possibly telling this man, hey, if you go over there, you're going to lose everything. You won't be living a fulfilling life. You're going to be struggling. Meanwhile, you two are going to be celebrating and living a fulfilling life, building empires, build uh, businesses and things like that. Like you two will have multiple empires, multiple businesses, right? Like the, the wife may be doing her own thing, but the husband supports her. He may be doing his own thing, but the wife supports him. And then they have their own, their thing that they do as a couple, which is more abundance. And whatever you all will be doing will be very influential to the communities that you will be in. I'm telling you, very influential people. <clears throat> very influential people. This is what's going to be happening. And there goes the Ten of Pentacles again on the bottom. Influential people, affluence, okay? Affluence, institution, building institutions and things like that, empires. And these people are stirring the cause of both of you are ending, but it's like, no, this was divine interference for these karmics to get cut. They're exposed. It's that you lie. Someone is telling someone that they lie. You're a liar. It's what he's telling either he's telling someone. I'll just put it that way. This man may be asking them questions or just calling them out. You know, like when you find the truth out, people have been lying to you for so long, pulling you on a string or something, and you finally find the truth out, and you're just like, you all are freaking lying. He may be even cursing, like you all are effing liars. Like someone is upset. These these us uh, these are exposed, and these occultists, these dark workers, wherever they are, they want you living in fears and sources. Like no, you're protected. Everything that's yours is protected. I'm telling you, you are protected. Judgment has been made and it's final. You don't have anything to fear. There's some cuckoo. This man here, he thinks he's all powerful. This is just a little boy at the core, refusing to heal, refusing to face his demons and things like that. He's just a little boy. He doesn't know that the truth is known about him. This is like someone doing something behind the scenes trying to hide it, but he doesn't know his hands are already exposed. Not just one hand, both hands are exposed and he doesn't know it. Even if he does, he has too much ego to stop because he said, why would I lose to a feminine energy? How can I lose to a feminine energy? It's not about gender. It's what you're doing and who you're doing it to. You're going through an ending, sir. You may not. Someone here is, could be passing away. Someone could be passing away. I'm telling you. Someone could be passing away. I'm telling you. The tower is out here. 
someone could be passing away, like someone manifested an ending for themselves or someone that's really close to them. Really close to them. I'm telling you, you see this? You see this? Someone manifested an ending for themselves thinking they were manifesting it for you. Every last one of these people that are against you, unwilling to turn a new leaf, they are about to be going through this. Someone could be passing away. Like someone is ill and they're passing away and it's karma. It's karma. We're not wishing this on anyone, but there are always repercussions for the actions you take in life. All of their plans against you, the plan to end you on a life, you take you out. It's not happening. The most high is interfering. It's like immediately. The tower is an immediate intervention. Like source is like absolutely not. This is that someone planning to break into your home, do you something, and source is that I, I'm waiting for you to bust up move so you can end up in a car accident, right? And end up up bent like this and everything. Can't take care of yourself. Oh yes, source will do that. They will do that. Disable you. Is that you know how you were trying to have this person out of here, have them down and wiped out? We're going to do the same with you. Except you, you're going to live through your misery. Because when you're like this, you can't take a knife and end the torture, the pain. You can't take a gun and off yourself. You can barely talk or anything. So you just lay there in misery for the rest of your life. Someone is about to undo themselves. So we're going to let them carry out their plan. It's an illusion. This plan here is an illusion. It is an illusion. Let it go. You're thinking you're going to destroy a, a feminine energy because of your ego. They didn't do anything to you because you can't have them. It's an illusion. Honey, illusion. Illusions. Some of them want to come to you and cause you illusions as well. Give you some type of offer. You're not worried about that. You are not worried about that. Your masculine, whoever you're supposed to partner up with, is closing a chapter. Okay, he's closing the chapter. You like someone is pissed off at how protected you are. This this occultist here, he and his wife and the rest of his minions in this cult or whatever this is, they are pissed off because of how protected you are. It's like everything they do, you are covered. It's a sense spell word to her heart, and the source is that no, we, we don't want to do that. We're not letting that. Like you are like a unique. A unique energy and people don't understand literally how unique you are like you serve a specific purpose and people don't know what it is and they don't understand it that's why they can't take you out this is why your enemies they can sit across from you and they can plot all they want near or far it's not happening so it's just like nope the moment you try to do something to this energy here it's a donor for you. It's a donor. And these people are about to find out. They are about to find out. I'm telling you, they are about to find out. It's a tower for everybody. People are about to be losing their finances. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm telling you, it's a tower. People are about to be losing their finances. People are losing their finances. I'm being corrected to say someone may be filing bankruptcy, losing a house. Mm, I just heard something else. Mm, yeah. They're going to have to find the strength to keep moving forward. Just that like you had to find the strength to keep moving forward. With a whole clan of people coming after you. A whole clan of people coming after you. People are being exposed, exposed as fraud. For those of you that have court cases going on, fraudulent activities are going to be exposed. It says someone was told, a group of people were told, stop this, stop it. You're going to get cut. You're going to get exposed. And someone's ego, someone smirks a lot. They're not about to be smirking. When they're in a jail cell or they're living in poverty, they won't be smirking anymore. They're not going to be smirking anymore. I'm telling you, they don't see something coming. They're not going to be smirking anymore. They may even be going through some type of uh, divorce, separation, whatever this is. I don't know if you can even call that a divorce or separation since it's a bearded relationship anyways. Someone may be losing a home. Like, it's a whole lot going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. I'm telling you. 
Someone needs to heal. Someone needs to heal. They're refusing to do that. Okay? Someone is upset about a message. I don't know either from a from a king of cups or to a king of cups. There's something about a message. They're not happy that this message made it to a king of cups. Like someone knows the truth. This king of cups knows the truth. Someone saying a really, uh, 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 what is it? I don't think, you know, I want to correct that. It's not that they're not happy about a message. It's like they send a disappointing message to a king of cups. He was expecting to hear good news, but he's hearing bad news. Both of the, oh, okay. A king of cups and a king of pentacles. This king of cups may be choosing to be practical now about this situation. He may be choosing to be practical now. Yeah. Because there's too much going on behind the scenes. The karmics are fighting. They're always fighting. And the, 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 the thing is that they're always the one bringing the drama to themselves. They're causing problems for themselves. I know they're always under some type of illusion that they're causing problems for us. But they're really causing problems for themselves. Because they're the ones going through the towers. Someone is being practical now. Yeah, I'm telling you. Hmm. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you want. Whatever plans you have for your future, is they are being protected. You are getting what you want. Your new beginning, your ace of pentacles. This is what these people were trying to steal from you. You're going to get it one way or another. You're victorious. Okay? You've got the power. 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 It says someone wants to get you out of character, but you keep staying calm. Yeah. Like they can't manifest an ending for you. It's not happening. Your plans are secure. Your enemy's plans is like, nah, it's not happening. They want you shaking up, living in anxiety and fear, and you're you're staying in your temperance energy. You're calm, collect, not worried about a thing because you know the energies that are backing you. You don't have nothing to worry about. Someone was trying to manifest something horrendous for another energy or a group of people were trying to manifest, right? Something for another energy that was just, just wicked. And that's because they're little boys at the core at the end of the day. And this woman in here, honey, I, honey, you need help. Serious help. You are pathetic as they come. Pathetic as they come. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Someone is not able to pay people anymore, or people may not be accepting bribery anymore to, to do something to an innocent person. I'm telling you. Someone really messed up their finances. If they're part of a cult, a COVID, some type of institution that does things behind closed doors, they don't want no parts of this person. Someone is about to be as communicated, as communicato, as communicato. Someone was planning to take your finances, block your finances. They don't want you receiving some type of offer. They want, they want to send someone in to sneak you. Whoever they're trying to send is not accepting the money. There's something like that. It's like a narcissist. No, they're not receiving something. They're not going to achieve something. They're not able to manifest a defeat for you or over you. Something like that. They're not going to be able to defeat you. But they're still stern to try to. And it's all ego. It's all ego. Someone is like, it's like someone thinks they're better than you, but they're like the bottom of the barrel kind of scum. You're in this energy and look, listen, 
This is you, collective. This is this person. Envy, hate, animosity is this person. Just a staring. Just a staring. They're staring in amazement, but they're hateful at the same time. They said, oh, I wish I could be that. I don't like her. She's a star C. Why can't I be the star C? That's that kind of person. Meanwhile, you're out here. Hope, inspiration, mental health, creativity, contentment, visionary, spiritual guidance, generous, kind-hearted, healing, renewal. Honey, you're a wish come through. Your star shines brighter than all the other stars in the sky for a reason. Again, you are a unique energy, a unique soul. There's no other soul like you. There's no other energy like you. You're different. You were made a little different. These people don't know who you are. They've been trying to figure it out for a long time. They just like people messing with you for a year, two years, three years, five years, whatever. And they're trying to study you to figure out what you are. They can't. That's because you're not meant to be known. Some of you are angels in flesh. Like your vessel is a flesh, but there's an angel living in you. And when these people see you, they see your glow. They see your light. Some people may see your halo. You don't even know. You could have been placed in someone's life and their, your halo was exposed to them. Listen, when I say halo, the, my eyes were taken to the moon. Your halo may have been exposed to someone here and they saw it and said, oh my gosh, there's an angel in my presence. They knew exactly who you were in instantaneously. They knew who you were. And they knew they were supposed to assist you to get through some type of tumultuous time that had to do with this cult, this occultist. And someone failed the test. Yeah, they failed the test. They failed the test miserably. It's, a being, it's like an angel being placed in your life in a certain energy, a humble energy. And source is looking at you to see how you're going to handle this situation. Do you remember the contract you have with this person? Do you remember the agreements you made with this person? Are you going to fulfill your contract with this person? Right? Hold up your end of the bargain. Someone did not. And now they're burdened. They're worried. Going through a stress. Someone, someone's about to lose a lot. They're going to have to. Yeah, I'm telling you. They're going to have to move on. All of these people, everyone in here, including you collective, I'm pretty sure you've moved on with your life, but these people don't know how to let go. And this is what happens when you are not you and unwilling to do the work to heal. You hold on to situations that other people have let go a long time ago. This is why you follow someone from place to place, not realizing you're the problem, not them. And the whole time you're following this person, they are living their life, they're ascending, becoming better, elevating, and you're staying stagnant, losing everything. Make it make sense. Why are you that focused on another person? Why have you given your power away to another person? And they're not even trying to take your power. They don't want your power. That's the crazy part. A lot of these people have given their powers away to you all, and you don't even want it. You're like, no, thank you. You can keep that. That's dark as heck. I'm going to stay with my clear energy. I don't want that. No, thank you. You're refusing their energy. They're refusing their energy. You say, where, where, where does it go? I, I don't need it as a star seed. So it obviously has to come back to you. You're going to have to take it back and fix it. Say so someone wants to, they want to destabilize you. They could be, I'm telling you, block you, stop you, have you stuck. They want you either sick or dead, down and out on finances, no money. So someone can call me and say, hey, I have some money for you. It may even be money that they stole from you. There's someone in here that tried to steal from a feminine energy or possibly stole from them. They may take that very money that they stole from you and come and give it to you as help. That's how slimy and insecure or masculine is in here. And it's not the emperor that you're connecting with. It's a different one. 
the one that's working with this occultist, this group, this couple. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's something someone like that would do. He's committed to trapping you. He's committed to trapping you just to cause you an ending. He wants to come in and give you some type of solid offer. It's not solid. It's a trap. He's going to make it look real good. Say, what would you like to be paid? Oh, I want to be paid $100 an hour. Oh, that's nothing. We can do that. We can make it work. You want full-time benefits? You want to work full-time, part-time, PRN? What do you want to do? You tell them. The whole time, this slime is sitting back, rubbing his head figuratively in his head. Like, when I'm ready to strike, I'm going to strike you so hard, you won't be able to get back up. Ten of swords. And then I'm going to be taking advantage of you. Lovers in reverse. Someone is lustful. Okay? And I'm going to make sure you know exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Two of swords in the reverse. Clarity. Okay? And when you come out, you're going to have to act like everything is okay. Because when you try to leave, I'm going to end you. You got to pretend like you're okay. Everything is okay. All is well. Someone is on heel. Someone is a little boy. It's a little boy. There's a little boy in this man that's crying for help and he's not trying to help that little boy. Whereas there's a beautiful energy, beautiful child within you. You've taken time to nourish, nurture that child, care for that child that's within you, that inner child, and they love it in there. They're blossoming every day because you did the work to heal. And this man here wants to come in and shut that child down. He says, shut up. They don't want you in this energy. They want to shut this down. You're a blessing. Someone has a problem with you because they are not you. You mirror and reflect in this person what they don't have. You make them feel uncomfortable. You bother their demons. That's why they want to off your light. Not because you're a bad person. Don't ever let a karmic make you think you're bad. These people are desperate behind the scenes, so a lot of you will notice now. They will notice they'll start. They're starting to do all kinds of immature tactics, all kinds of stuff. You'll start running into them in places they have no business being. You'll start getting calls from them when you, they don't talk to you. People you haven't talked to in five years will be calling you. Oh, I'm just calling to see how you're doing. Um, who's this? Exactly. People are stressed behind, I'm telling you, they're stressed behind the scenes. They're stressed behind the scenes about some type of good news you receive. The truth is exposed. You're getting what's yours. Okay. Dang. Is a king of, sword, king of cups out here being exposed as a liar? Oh, shocking, isn't it? Someone is a liar. They're unstable. They're mentally unstable. They may be telling people that you are unstable. This is possibly someone that accepted bribery in the past. That's why this page of pentacles is out here. He's not receiving pay anymore for doing the work that he's been doing because it's not successful. Someone thought they had it all figured out. All figured out. He thought he was victorious. He had a perfect plan. He was going to get paid to come in and sneak you, lie, and carry on farther this narrative. It's not happening. Someone is not receiving pay anymore. Is that where is my, you got my money? What money? Like you failed already. I'm telling you, he failed already. It's the end. Finito. This whole group is finito. I don't know why people like to mess with feminine energies, but just because they're feminine does not mean that they're not at your level when it comes to being strategic, when it comes to battling and things like that. I'm telling you, the queen of wands, these are the queens of war, honey. Very strategic. Very strategic. And when they defeat you, it's quick motion. And you will know like how it happened you'll be left wondering what the heck just happened 
Nah, this didn't happen. Nah, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. They'll make sure they seal you. You have no way out. I'm telling you, no way out. Stuck, block. Stuck. And she's victorious. Honey. And these are the kind of women you'll meet them because they're beautiful. You'll overlook everything else to be that well, she's beautiful. That's all that matters. This right here, this woman right here, <laughs> okay, dangerous, dangerous. The ones that are in the upright, the ones that are in the reverse are dangerous as well. <clears throat> You're thinking the whole time you have them figured out. That you, you have the perfect plan to destroy them. Only for them to surprise you. Only for them to surprise you. And all of them are walking around trying to save face. The lies are being exposed. People are out here abusing their power. I'm telling you. They're going through endings. People are out here abusing their powers and things like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Queen of Swords, you're being removed out of these people's energy in some way. Like, you, you know, right? You know. You know. That's all I'm going to say is that you know. You have foresight of the whole situation. You're showing up as intelligent as heck. You have the three of wands is out here. You are intelligent as heck. You're showing up in masculine energies, feminine energies. You have both balanced out beautifully. Someone told people you were retarded and they decided to jump on the bandwagon and they jump on the bandwagon, bandwagon for so long and for so long, uh, uh, so quickly and so long, they've been on there for so long, they started to believe it that, oh, she really is mentally retarded. And they said, uh, no, you said she was. No one told you that that was true. Someone may have some type of fraudulent, fraudulent document they're walking around with from a doctor, showing it to people and say, hey, see, I told you she's uh, mentally She's legally mentally retarded or he's legally mentally retarded retarded and they're looking at them like how do you have someone's medical paper? Where did you get it from? That's a law. That's a that's a violation of a law if you're doing that. First of all, the document is false. And then the fact that you're carrying it around, defamation, slander, label, oh my goodness, everything in one. Someone has sealed their fit. Someone has sealed their fit. And just like they watched you stay strong and calm, went through this whole experience with modesty and classiness collective, they're going to have to do the same. Don't, don't cry wolf. It's no fun when the rabbit's got the gun and someone's about to be finding out. Okay? Stand your ground, collective. Mm -hmm. Someone is unhinged, mentally unstable. There's a woman in here who is the planner of everything. She orchestrates things from the behind the scene, from behind the scenes. From behind the scenes, but it doesn't matter how well she plans. She's not mentally stable anyway. She's an airhead. You're still going to have your victory. There could be an investigation going on, and you'll be receiving some type of information about that investigation and everything people have been doing behind the scenes. I told you all, there is a, the, the law is involved. People don't want to, you know, when karmics are doing things and you try to help them, you're like, hey, you're being watched. I've said that on a few of my videos. I've told people something they're doing, that they're being monitored, they're being recorded, phone calls are being recorded, they're listening devices and stuff. They think they're invading your privacy. They don't realize, just like they're watching you and monitoring you, they're being watched and monitored as well. So everything is known. So someone won't be able to come in and say, I don't I don't know anything about that. They'll be like, oh, really? 
Well, explain this video, explain this recording, explain this email, explain this text message. Silence. It's silence of the land. Just like they've been invading you us privacies and things like that, they're being monitored. They are being monitored. <laughs> being monitored. There's a there's an agent somewhere, and he's just looking at everybody and said, Oh, you all told us this person was part of this. They're not part of it. We thought this whole time this person has something to do with what's going on. They don't. They're innocent. So now I'm coming for every last one of you. Every last one of you. Okay? There's an investigation going on. There is an investigation going on. Collective. And you are staying calm through it all. Yeah, honey. Lying is not going to help you all in this situation. Because this is all karmics do is lie. Lying is not going to help you all in this in this uh, situation. It's going to make it worse. This is like someone having piles and piles and piles of evidence. And they call you into the interrogation room. And they're asking you simple questions. And you're trying to practice the answers. Or uh, get the answers like you all practice there behind the scenes. Like if they ask you this, say this. And that police officer, that FBI agent, CIA, whoever they are. They already know. They're hip on game. They've been watching you for a long freaking time. You know the FBI and CIA do not come in until they know for a fact that they have you locked in. There is no way out. When the FBI knocks on your door, you best believe they have all their I's dotted, their T's crossed, ducks lined up. There is no way out. Your fate is sealed. The best you can do is try to make a deal with them. Look... I make a deal. I, now I don't even want to plead the fifth because I already know, honey. I know, I know, I know. I make a deal. First forty forty eight. You all remember that show? Those criminals were quick to sing like a canary, right? That's how some of these people are about to be with these agents. People feel invincible. They should have removed themselves from this situation a long time ago. They were being told see things from a higher perspective, especially this this. This little boy here, this little boy and little girl here and everybody else behind them, they were told, remove yourself from this situation. The hermit has to do with removing yourself from toxic connections, seeing things from a higher perspective, allowing yourself to heal and then being a healer yourself. Acquiring sacred knowledge due to the new perspective that's been given to you because of the vibration that you are in. That's part of what being a hermit has to do with. It also has to do with self-sacrifice. So by them not removing themselves from this toxic situation, they sacrifice themselves. They martyr themselves. And they won't be able to re recover from that. They're not able to seal under karma waters. I'm telling you, it's all hell break loose behind the scenes. People are trying to... Ooh, honey. They're trying to keep a straight face. Someone is like going, rocking back and forth. You guys ever seen that video of Beyonce at the basketball game where she's rocking back and forth? High as a kite, allegedly. Yeah, that's how someone is right now. Just a rocking back and forth. Just a rocking back and forth. And they thought they was go this was going to be you. You're secure. You know you're protected. You didn't do anything wrong to these people. Someone thought they were doing something behind the scenes where they're going to come out and bring a lawsuit to you. They said, hey. Yeah, I've been monitoring you this whole time. Yeah, you haven't been doing this. You haven't been doing that. Someone is trying. Someone has been trying to do that. They can't bring you any problems. This is this man, this little boy. I I, I can't call him a man. The one that's working with this these fools. Yeah, him. Him, trying to set up scenarios to make you think like you're insufficient. And it's just like, sir, how old are you? Don't you feel like insecure doing these kind of things? Don't you feel like weird to be doing these kind of things? Mm. What is the ace of swords in the reverse? It said intense negativity, lack of wisdom, short-lived victory, chaos, destruction, anarchy, wrong decision, unfulfilled ambition. I'm telling you, honey, your enemies thought they were victorious. Swords has a way of shutting people down. These people took some type of action. Yeah, they were bringing you legal issues. And it's not going in their favor. 
I'm telling you, it was impulsive. It was an impulsive move. And everything is going to be exposed. The lies, the frauds, everything. Everything is going to be exposed. Something I don't get with criminals, dark energies. It's like they have this big thing about not wanting to be exposed, but they will do everything. They'll take every action that can literally get them exposed. That can literally get them exposed. They may be trying to send someone in to cloud your judgment and say, hey, what you're seeing is not what it is. We wanted to come in and clarify some things with you. No, thank you. Don't come my way. Don't come our way. Don't. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's what you need to tell them. Don't come my way. Don't come our way. We're good over here. We're going to keep this perspective that we have. Okay? This feels incomplete to me. This person taking action to come to a queen of pentacles. Let's see what this is. I want to know what this is. Who is this coming to this queen of pentacles? What do they want? What do they want from this queen of pentacles? Oh, they're coming into... Oh, they want to end you. And this is an impulsive action. Yeah, they want to end you. We have the death at the bottom. How is this situation going to end? Will they be, will they be able to? Mm, you get to move on. You get to move on. That's a fresh start. It's a new beginning. It's an ending. You're going through an ending. Oh, yeah, this is not you, Collective. This is not you. Oh, okay. This is not you, Collective. This is someone in here. This is a wife character for someone. She's going through an ending. It's done with her. This is not you. Because when I was trying to figure it out, my heart went light for a second. It's like, no, that's not the Collective. This is someone else in here. A feminine energy that's going through an ending. She may be going through some type of betrayal. Justice. Yeah, and it's justice. Her ending, whatever ending she's going through, is justice for you. This is balance being brought into this situation. I mean, even if you collective, they go through an ending. It's for rebirth. It's for renewal. So it's not really an ending. It's not really an ending for you. Okay, balance, justice is taking place. Justice is taking place. Now, who is this? Honey, I'm about to be going forever. Who is this queen, king of wands? But he just popped out. Oh, too late for me to hide it. I'll be trying to hide stuff from these karmics on here. Listen. Your emperor may be in his king of wands energy. He's standing his ground. So you two may be battling together, whoever this is, honey. Um, okay. Okay, I see you. Yeah, you're going to be having success with this person. You're going to be having success with them. Building with them. They may have been trying to block this person from coming towards you. And he's still coming. Whatever this is, honey, I don't know. I'm trying not to get the, the, the karma is too much information. So we have four wishes, the number of protection, 13, right? It said you are a conscious, a conscious, oh, remember we had this thing again? You are a conscientious, oh my Lord, what in the world is going on? You are a conscientious work her with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real an optimistic but practical outlook keeps your keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals i am confident lord have mercy what in the world was that conscientious why was i struggling to say that okay that's interesting that's real interesting <laughs> seven you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most. 
I am brilliant. Uh-huh. And people that don't have that awareness, like these karmics, because this is why they will feel comfortable coming for you, trying to destroy you, because they don't have that level of awareness in life. They will never understand it. If you have this level of awareness, immediately someone comes to you with nonsense, you're going to shut it at the door, no matter how much they're offering you. But when you don't have clarity and you don't have awareness of self, of the life, if you do not have clarity of thyself and creation, the world, physical and spiritual, you can be easily misled to cause yourself an ending, believing that you're ending someone else. Okay? But collective, it looks like you're getting justice. You are getting justice. Okay? And I'm going to be straightforward with you. Some of you may be experiencing an ending in here, but that's okay. It still ended with justice with whoever you're meant to be working with. So it's not really an ending. It's not a loss for you. It's balance being brought into a situation. It's essential for you to end this chapter with these karmics, right? So that you can start a brand new chapter in fulfillment, okay? Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.